Hello and welcome. Uh, occasionally I just do things as exercises to practice and um, the other day I, I started filming them. People seem to like them so that's what I've been doing occasionally. And the other day I did a video on uh, scraping images off Flickr. It was just uh, a little sped up video of me playing around with it. It wasn't really meant to be a tutorial but one of my Patreon supporters requested that I actually go over what I was doing in that video. So that's what I'm going to work on today. So here we are, we're at Flickr, I did a search for Linux. Now I could try to use, you know, wget like so and get an output like this. That's what I originally did in the video which gives you the full HTML and then I can start picking through that and scraping some of the images. And that works, uh, it's a little more complicated uh, than needs be because there's another way of doing it. And that's only going to give me the first uh, couple of images on the page because the rest are loaded from JavaScript and wget's not going to run that JavaScript. But it's simple enough, let me refresh this page here to make sure we're working with a fresh, fresh uh, thing. Okay, I'm going to hit F12, I'm in Chrome. All web uh, or all major web browsers nowadays have some sort of developer's console. Uh, I'm using Chrome. I hit F12. It opens this up, and I've clicked on the network tab. This will show everything that loads, every image, every file that's loaded uh, on this page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, and as I scroll, you'll see more images being loaded, uh, which is great. But what I want to do is I want to find this load more results button. That way I could look through here and find what files loading it and I can actually you know narrow it down with these different categories here but just for now I'm gonna leave this on all and now I'm gonna click this little clear button that clears everything out. Now I can click reload and the first file it loads is gonna be the request for new images. So I'm gonna click that and there you go you can see this rest in files. So images load I'm gonna scroll back up the sub file when I click on it and go to response you can see here that there's some JSON returned that has all the information for the new images. So that's what we're going to use. Now you might think I can copy this address and use it with wget. So again let's go wget uh, just output to the screen for now. This here but we don't get anything output. And that's because Flickr is using uh, cookies which a lot of websites do. And wget can work with cookies, um, but what I would have to do is figure out where the cookie request is from, run wget against that, save the cookie to a file, and then call this command and load up the cookie, which is fine. Uh, and really, if you're gonna be writing a program, that's the way to go, uh, because what I'm about to do is I'm actually going to use a curl command that Chrome is going to give me, and it will give me the cookie for the session, but the cookie will eventually expire, so it's not good for actually writing out a script. So this is just for fun. If, I, if you just quickly need to download a bunch of uh, images, uh, you can use this method, but not for writing a full-out program that you're going to distribute to people. Anyway, if I right-click again on here and go to copy, instead of link address down here, I can copy the response, but I can also copy as curl. So I'm going to choose that come in here and then just paste that in. And you see we get a big long thing here and this is basically uh, everything that Chrome passes to the server is now put into this curl command. So we have our curl command here, we have the URL that we're requesting, uh, it gives other information like the origin that we're uh, requesting it from, uh, what type of encoding we're accepting, the user agent, uh, which is Chrome in this case. So using this command, I'm using curl, but it's still the, the server is going to think that I'm using Chrome. It doesn't know that I'm using curl. Uh, and a few other things. And then the cookie is the big one here. Is that what we want? And there's a bunch of cookies in there. I don't even know if you need all of them. I haven't even gotten that far with this. But if I hit enter now, I will get that JSON output. So let's play with this for a second and then we'll cut, trim it down a bit. Um, well, real quick, actually, let's, let's trim it down a bit. As I said, there's a bunch of stuff in here we don't need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to where cookies are, cookies start, right here. You can see this header that's being passed says cookie. And I'm pretty sure that that's all I need, that and the address. Now some, some websites might see that using curl or wget and reject you. They don't let you because they think you're a bot crawling, which is basically what you are. Um, so you might want to leave the user agent in there. But here we go. I trimmed out a lot of that excess stuff and we can still get our JSON output. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is clean this up and get our images. So let me just go in here and I'm going to first, there are programs out there that will parse through JSON for you in a shell script, but I want to use uh, commonly found tools on your system. So if you're running this on a server somewhere or something, a minimal system, you, you know you have the tools. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to use TR 
and I'm going to say this. And what this is saying is find all quotation marks and make them new line characters. So when I do that, since everything has question marks around it, every new piece of that JSON file is going to become a, uh, a new line. At this point, we know we want JPEG files. So I can say grep for JPEGs. There we go. And you can see we get them, but you also see that we get repeated stuff. Here's, here's one image, and it's listed here multiple times with different extensions, Q, M, T. And um, those, I believe, are different resolutions from what I was playing around with the other day. Um, so just to make this quick and simple, let me quickly uh, look here. What I did in the video the other day was I took the last image here. I wonder what we get if... I don't know. See, now I'm thinking about other stuff. Let's go here, and we don't need the ones with question marks. So let's go ahead and real quick do a grep dash v. I didn't do this the other day. Uh, question mark. So the v is going to invert the search. It's going to find everything that doesn't have the v in it. And here we can see we have images. It's also grabbing from different servers. So let's find out which one of these images is the best. So we've got two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to run that same command, but I'm going to say tail n8, and that'll just give me the last eight lines there. And what I'm going to quickly do is pipe that into a while loop. I'll say while read URL. We're going to say, I'm going to use wget. I probably should use curl since I'm using that in the first half, you know, just to be consistent. But I'm going to say wget um, our URL and done. And it's actually, some of these are going to come out with the same extension name, so it's going to put dot one at the end, but we'll see. Go ahead and, what did I, oh, forgot my do, while do wget. Okay, so we downloaded those eight images. Let's see them here. You can see they're all the same, just different sizes, cropped a little different. The Q looks like it's cropped. The S looks like it's cropped, so we're looking at T and M. Which one of them is a better option? Let's go ahead and list out all the files in here, J JPEG. And, um, oh, let's just list out all the files because, again, they were the same file names, so wget automatically puts a dot one at the end of any repeat files. Uh, but you can see, even though they're coming from different servers, they're the same size. And the biggest file, I would assume, is the highest quality, which in this case is M. So we can assume that the highest quality is going to be M. So I'm going to remove everything in this directory. I'm going to run my curl command again here, but not download the images yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, instead of uh, grep JPEG, I'm going to say uh, grep underscore M JPEG and then get rid of any ones with question marks. So there we go, we have a list, but we're still getting uh, duplicates because we're getting it from two different servers and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be the same image. So we're gonna choose one of those two and since this is C, it can be C1, C2, where these can be farm, one, two, three, four, whatever, we can now grep for any line that has farm and I think would be the quickest way to do this. So I'm going to grep farm and since these three grep commands are in a row, they can actually be put into one command, but I'm going to pipe them into others because that's just how I do it. So there we go. Now, the only other thing is uh, we have these backslashes here that are uh, escape characters in the JSON. We don't need those, so let's remove those, those characters. So what I'm going to say is said substitute. Oops. Ah. And we want to remove backslashes so, but we can't do this, we have to do backslash backslash because we have to escape this escape character. And so we're replacing it with nothing. So now we should get uh, URLs that are now clickable in my shell here. So I can right click one of these and say open. And there we go, and that, that really doesn't look like the highest resolution there. That, that looked pretty small, but that might have been a small picture to begin with. Hmm, no, we could definitely get larger pictures than this. Um, so let's see, let's go back before we, uh, gripped out this. Let's change this to .jpeg again. And uh, let's go ahead and let me run my wget command again here. And let me quickly look here. Forward, 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 forward. 
All these are kind of low resolution. I was getting higher resolution the other day. I wish I forget. I wish I remember. Let's um, run this again. Like so. What other extensions do we have? Because that one image might not have the full resolution, so then I'm cutting out all my other images. See, it's, it's a trial and error until you know how things work here. So let's go ahead and that one has an N, and this one doesn't have an N. So if we if we start grepping for something like that, where the N, we're going to lose some of these images that don't have that. I'm also wondering what about these ones that uh, this might be the full resolution here that doesn't have the full extension. So let me go here. And I'm going to grab JPEGs. And I'm actually, can I just highlight this and go to Chrome? I paste this in here. And oops, I guess that worked. So it looks like without the underscore might be the original image. The other day I was downloading one with the underscore. So what we can quickly do here is, um, hmm. So this is different than what I came up with the other day. I know what we'll do. We should be able to grep for, we should say we want all lines that have JPEGs, but we're gonna do a reverse search, grep all lines, reverse, that have underscore dollar sign dot JPEG. And a dollar sign should be a placeholder for one character, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, that didn't work, that wild card. Um, I could say, I think if I do this, Okay, yeah, that's working. Let me add in, and let me do this, and then I'll explain it. Z, B, that's looking good, and C. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I am grepping, and I'm doing a reverse grep, so I'm sh showing lines that don't match this. We're saying any line that has an underscore, one of these three character, or one of these characters, uh, dot JPEG, and I think I put every character that they had listed there. So we should get all those images without those little extensions, which I'm thinking might be the original images. So let's go ahead and add our sed command back in, like so, and that will fix our URLs. Let me go ahead and open up one of these and see. Yeah, I mean, it's not high resolution, but it's good for a quick little grab. And um, now let's take that command. Uh, and put it in a script so we can play with it a little bit. Again, this is um, not gonna be a permanent solution since the cookie will eventually expire, but let's go ahead and grab this and real quick, just go vim, I'll just call my script go.sh, I'll say vim bash, boom. And if I wanna clean this up a little bit, I can put these on new lines here, like so. Just so we can see each command individually. They're still piping into each other. Okay, so let's run that, make sure it still runs. We'll make it executable, change mod plus x, go.sh, go. There we go, we're getting our images. Oh, something else we need to add into there. Again, we're getting uh, our two servers. Let's go ahead and, and grab only ones that are um, on the farm servers. So we'll add to this grep farm. There we go. We got these clickable images and now we can run through and download them. Now this is just for links and we're getting so many so let's go ahead let, let's run that command and say uh, line count. We're getting 94 images from that list. Let's go ahead and look at what our command is here and if we look through here you're gonna see that right here this is our text that we're searching for Linux. And just before that, you can see that we're starting at page five because we scrolled in and auto-loaded uh, and it asked for us to load more at five. So if we wanted to get the first couple of images, we'll set this to page one. And we also say per page 100. We have it set to 100, we got 94. That's pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead 
and try changing this to 200. And I'm doing a word count again to get uh, a line count to see how many we got. We're getting twice as many, it's taking a little bit longer. <clears throat> Six seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds, there we go. We got almost 200. We got 197 images listed there. Uh, and so let's go back in here. And now let's see what happens if we change this to computer. We'll run our command again without the, the count. And I'll just grab one of these images and we should see a computer output now, a computer image. There we go. So we've changed our search, but let's uh, go in there. Something else I realized the other day. So we'll change this to computer to, we'll say Doom video game. Let's run that now. We get nothing. And why is that? Because, uh, because of the spaces, you might've guessed that. So let's go ahead and um, change this. Just have to do some uh, HTML annotation. So we'll just change anywhere we want a space. We'll say 20, percent 20. And now we should be able to run this script. And there's, looks like a Lego Doom set. Again, these aren't the, the highest resolution. We could actually, if we want to go further, I didn't do this the other day, and I might be going down a rabbit hole right now. Let me click on one of these. How big is this, this image? Let's go view image. See, they're not letting me right click the image here. Let's see. So what we can do here, save as image as, say F12, and we're gonna do our element select and select this. And we're going to say, look at this and see the image. Actually, let's try something else. Let's go ahead and go back to our network here. Go back to search. Back to search. Here we go. Let's clear this out and let's click on one of these images now. And here I'm going to go images only, and I'm going to find that image. Preview, that's it right there. There we go, it looks like B is the biggest option, which is what I think I did the other day in my script. So actually we can go back to our script and make a change to that, because I think that we're still not pulling down the full resolution images, because I know I was getting bigger images the other day. And that's why I do these exercises, I'm learning stuff, I'm practicing. Uh, but what we can do is let's comment out this line and I think I said B so underscore B. Let's run that again. Open. There we go. That's a bigger image than uh, than we were getting. So B seems to be the higher. Uh oh. Uh, did I happen to grab the same one twice? No, there we go. Resident Evil. I have no clue what images I'm bringing up, so I apologize for anything. So yeah, B seems to be one of the larger images anyway. So that, that's better that we get that scope. And it's a little cleaner of a code. We don't have that, uh, all those characters wiping out. So uh, now what we can do is we can uh, go back into our code and we can set these to download if we want. So we can change that really, uh, I'm not gonna get into it, but we can put this into a variable at the top or ask the user. But again, these uh, cookies are gonna eventually expire. I don't know if they're good for an hour or 24 hours or what. It might even say somewhere in all that. Uh, but that's basically what I did the other day. A little different than what I did the other day. And that's the sort of thing when you do stuff like this, each time I do it, I'm probably gonna do it a little different. And, and you learn a little bit more each time. Uh, but let's just say while read URL do oops, wget dollar sign url done and another thing we didn't put into here that we should let's do this sort right because i didn't do the sort unique to make sure we hopefully don't get any duplicates and if i run that command now I'm now pulling down a bunch of um, Doom game images. Let's go ahead and open this up. We have our, our Tux the Penguin that we originally downloaded, but the rest of these don't look like Doom. But these are the images that would come up with a Doom video game search. 
What if I kill that script? Oops, kill that script. And I change my search from Doom video game just to Doom, because that's what I did the other day. Save that, remove all dot JPEG and dot JPEG and go. So this is why I didn't really um, uh, do this as a tutorial originally because it's just me playing around. I It's not like a prepared tutorial. Uh, let's see, PC Man. There we go, now we're getting more Doom-like images. Kinda. Get our Tux images there. Graffiti. Here, here are some Doom images. They all seem to be the most current game. But that is how you uh, can scrape some images from a website like that. Again, it was just like a little practice thing for me, but I was requested by a Patreon supporter to do a video on it. And my Patreon supporters, when they ask for something, I do my best to deliver. So there you go. And I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And I'll throw the script up on Pastebin and put a link in the description as well. Uh, and obviously it can be an improved. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.